Hi friends, this is Ramesh Pitla LLB. So I have been creating an awareness about women's safety and various crimes. Let's know what are the key highlights of NCRB's crime in India 2022 report. So overall crime statistics, a total over 58 lakhs cognizable crimes were registered, comprising both the Indian Penal Code IPC and special and local law SLL crimes. The registration of cases witnessed a 4.5% decline compared to 2021. Crime rate decline. So what does it mean? The crime rate per lakh population dropped from 445.9 in 2021 to 422 in 2022. The decline is considered a more reliable indicator considering the impact of population growth on absolute crime numbers. As you know, every year I am sharing the details about NCRB uh, considering the most important uh, factors. So the first thing is, uh, what is a, who, which is the safest city in India as per NCRB? So Kolkata, safest city. Kolkata emerged as the safest city in India for third consecutive year regarding the least number of cognizable offenses per lakh population among metropolises. Next Pune which is Maharashtra state and Hyderabad, Telangana secured the second and third positions respectively. So I can say uh, the so many preventive steps have been taken by Telangana government when KCR was ruling as chief minister. He has taken so many initiatives to control the uh, crimes especially he has initiated so many things regarding women's safety as well and police friendly police and uh, additional recruitment was done to control the crimes in Telangana. Rise in cyber crimes. Cyber crime reporting surged by 24.4 percent totaling 65,893 cases a significant surge from 52,974 cases in 2021. Cyber fraud constituted the majority of cases 64.8% of registered cases followed by extortion which is 5.5% and sexual exploitation 5.2%. The crime rate under this category rose from 3.9 in 2021 to 4.8 in 2022. That's why from Crime Free India, Crime Free India YouTube channel my friend who is a inspector and also myself I have been creating an awareness about uh, cyber crimes. So, so be careful about cyber crimes. There are various types of crimes are happening. And uh, next suicides and causes. 22 India witnessed a significant surge in suicides totaling over 1.7 lakh cases reflecting a concerning increase of 4.2 percent compared to 2021. The suicide rate also rose by 3.3 percent calculated as the number of suicides per lakh of the population. The major causes included family problems, marriage related problems, obviously this bankruptcy due to most of the cyber crimes, cyber firms, cyber frauds people went for bankruptcy. So bankruptcy and indebtedness, unemployment and professional issues and illness. Maharashtra reported the highest number of suicides followed closely by Tamil Nadu, Madhya Pradesh, Karnataka, Kerala and Telangana. Daily wage constituted a significant portion accounting for 26.4% of the total suicides. Agricultural workers and farmers were also uh, disproportionately affected forming a substantial part of the suicide statistics. This was followed by the unemployed persons who comprises 9.2% of all suicides. And uh, reported in India in 2022 among all suicides reported in the year over 12,000 were of students. This is very sad because students need proper counseling. Even so many experts are referring to institution, educational institutions, university, universities to appoint counselors because when students go low, they can give proper counseling so that students will not come for the suicide. In fact, they will go for the better plan to overcome from so many failures and uh, so many defeats. Escalating crimes against SC and STs. 
The Crime in India report highlighted an overall increase in crimes and atrocities against scheduled caste SC and scheduled tribes ST persons. States like Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh and Telangana experienced a surge in such cases in 2022. Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan persist as key contributors consistently uh, ranking among the top five states with the highest occurrences of crimes and atrocities against SC and ST communities. Other states witnessing elevated of levels of offenses include Bihar, Uttar Pradesh, Odisha and Punjab. So this is all about the uh, crime, uh, suicide cases. Now the most important thing is crimes against women. A total of 4,45,256 cases of crimes against women were reported in 2022, marking a 4% increase from 2021. The dominant categories included cruelty by husband or his relatives, kidnapping and abduction of women and assault on women with intent to outrage her modesty. These are the most important repeated offenses which are happening against women. So women can seek and help from police immediately whenever if you see any sign of crime against you, maybe domestic violence or eve teasing or whatever it is, immediately call 100 and take support from the police and ensure that they will file the complaint and you will get the proper justice. Any help call me. 95733-95095. Thank you so much. And uh, crimes against children. So cases of crimes against children showed an increase of 8.7% compared to 2021. A majority of these cases related to kidnapping and abduction, which is 45.7%. And 39.7% were filed under the Protection of Children from Sexual Offenses Act, that is POCSA Act. So even the, the NGOs and government should give more awareness about the POCSO Act. At least the criminals will get scared of the punishment because POCSO Act is the most powerful thing which is useful for the both boys and girls who are under age of 18 years and very nice uh, act I can say. And crimes against senior citizens. So cases of crimes against senior citizens rose by 9.3 percent to 28,545 cases compared to 26,110 cases in 2021. So a bulk of these cases, 27.3% related to hurt followed by theft, 13.8% and forgery, cheating and fraud which is 11.2%. Animal attacks on the rise. The NCRB report reveals a concerning trend in the number of people dying or getting injured due to animal attacks. So a significant 19% increase in such incident was recorded in 2022 compared to 2021. So when we look at all the states, Maharashtra reported the highest number of cases, Uttar Pradesh, Odisha, Tamil Nadu, Chhattisgarh and Madhya Pradesh followed with varying numbers reported cases. In addition, the number of animal, reptile, and inspect bites cases also increased. So people should be very much careful because it got increased by 16.7%. The highest number of bite cases were reported from Rajasthan and followed by the other state which is Madhya Pradesh, Tamil Nadu and Uttar Pradesh respectively. So People should be aware about uh, the various types of crimes which are happening against you, okay? And also um, offenses against the state, which is sedition, we can say. So offenses against the state exhibited a slight increase in 2022 compared to the previous year, previous year 2021. There was uh, approximately a 25% rise in cases registered under the unlawful activities prevention act that is called UAPA during this period and conversely 
cases under the sedition section of the IPC experienced a significant decline. The decreases in sedition cases may be attributed to the Supreme Court's decision. In May 2022, to keep sedition cases in abeyance, uh, which is hold. So, dear friends, this is uh, all about uh, the key highlights about the National Crimes Records Bureau. Please subscribe to my channel and share with everybody.